don't have an umbrella. You don't understand, I can't. Baby, I'm soaking, let's go, please, hurry oh, up. Oh, shit. Oh. Which way was it? Okay, I think we're supposed to go this way, but we might, oh! Who the hell are you? It's okay, I, you're beautiful. Hey Veronica, do you have a quick second? Hi, what's up? I noticed that every time we have a conversation, by the time I get back to my desk, I have an email from you recapping the conversation. Oh no, I'm just CMA. <laughs> what's CMA? CMA, just like CYA, which means cover your ass. Um, CMA, which is covering my ass. I just, I just think it's important to always have a paper trail of all the conversations, just in case there's a misunderstanding. I'm emailing you a recap of what we spoke about, and that gives you an opportunity to correct anything that I may have misunderstood. I just think it's a little unnecessary to recap every single conversation. Oh no, I completely understand why someone in management would think that it's unnecessary. Uh, in the past, I've had managers who say one thing and then turn around and say another, or say that they didn't say something. This way, with a red receipt, there's no way for them to say that they at least didn't have knowledge of how I understood what they were saying. So. Um, I will continue to send you a recap email. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Janet. Just recapping the conversation we just had. CMA is basically me covering myself in case of any misunderstandings and to avoid any further issues. Let me know if you have any questions. Red receipt on and send. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, today we are taking the final exam. I hope y'all use the study guide yeah, sure study because guy. none of those questions are on this test. Now, the final is on 13 chapters of things we never went over in class. The final is not multiple choice. The final is 50 questions. I need three paragraph answers for each question, including a 30 page essay on the back. The final is worth 100% of all of your grades, meaning if you fail this final, you get an F in every class you're taking this semester and you get dropped from college. Any questions? Put your goddamn hand down. Now, everybody ready? No, nope. yes. I think so. Okay, you may begin the exam. Pencils down! Pencils down! Pencils down! That's it! That's it! That's it! It's over! It's done! Time's up! Pass the test! Full! Thank you for calling customer service. My name is Veronica. How can I help? I've been waiting 30 minutes to speak to somebody. 30 minutes. Yo, yo, hold up. Hold up. Why are you yelling? Excuse me? What did you just say? Ah, no me entendiste en inglés. Te lo digo en español. ¿Por qué tú me estás gritando? No me grite. I've been waiting. I'm on my lunch break and I've been waiting 30 minutes to... And I understand that. And I apologize that it was a long wait, but in the beginning of the call, did they or did they not say there's going to be about a 25 to 28 minute wait? Yes, they did. But I'm I'm on. And you decided to wait. Yes. Yes. But I'm on my. And lunch now you're wasting more time telling me that you're wasting your lunch break by telling me that you waited instead of just letting me know what's going on so I could help you. I just don't understand why the wait is so long. With you're you going to be real mad if I put you back in the queue and you got to wait another 25 to 28 minutes. There's somebody right behind you waiting that has been waiting just as long as you have. That'd be happy to get me on the line. So I'm going to give you a second to decide if you're going to be respectful or if you're going back into the queue. I can't even believe that you're talking to me like this. Like, I don't Not understand. because it's God's day. Today's Sunday. There's no need for you to be this upset with me. I didn't do nothing to you. You're right. I'm sorry. Can we please look into my account and see why yeah. it's blocked? Give me your account number. Let's find out. Mother, my brother and I have a request for dinner. Out with it then. The delegation has come to a verdict. We would like Olive Garden for dinner. Olive Garden? What an audacious request. We will also take McDonald's as a compensatory selection. Do you have the treasury for your demands? Are you asking if I have McDonald's money? Perhaps. Mother, please. My brother and I have been eternally faithful to this house. We will use your funds for the Olive Garden campaign. I expect you're aware of the leftover spaghetti in the fridge. Yes, I am. Now would be a good time to mention I got an A on my algebra test. How convenient. Now tell me, when did you receive this A? Last month. A month ago? You waited four whole weeks to tell me of this victory so you could leverage it for Olive Garden? Do you see me as cattle for you to milk whenever you grow thirsty? You said we could choose what we wanted, and this is our decision! Answer the question, boy! Am I Midas? Am I made of gold? I will wreck the leaves, and I'll vacuum all the floors. Mother, 
Please. Just hear our cries. Does he speak for you? My brother was out of line, yes. I wanted McDonald's, but his ambition convinced me to take up arms in his crusade. So you're both greedy. I have raised seagulls. I am no seagull. Get the spaghetti out the fridge. Mother! Liar! Brother! You witch! You'll rule this day! You know, we had a great day tonight. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, let me walk you to your car. Be a gentleman. Yeah, I'll take care of you. Okay, you. yeah. Okay. Hey, what you getting from the back seat? Oh, just my suitcase. What? For what? I'm moving in. Bro, what are you talking about? Well, we had a good night tonight. You like me, I like you. So let's get to going. You know? <laughs> Look, just because we had a good time doesn't mean you get to move into the house. Yes, it does. Look, you're not moving in my house. Uh, hey. I got neighbors, bro. Bro, come on. Bro, let me in the house. Are we moving in? Bro, just let me in. One more time. Are we going to live together? It's good, yes. We could just let me in. All right, you come in. My own house, man. I'm going to put this upstairs and use yours. Yes, ma'am. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go into the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> <laughs> that you have a second job yes I do have a second job mm -hmm. I advised you guys um, I think right at the beginning of the year when you guys send out an email asking if we have a second job mm -hmm. um, we really would just prefer if you didn't have a second job we we like our people to focus what do you mean you would prefer that I didn't have a second job what why does my second job have anything to do with this job? We really just prefer for you to focus, you know, on one, on one job, if that makes sense. Well, as long as I do my job here, when I'm here, you don't have to worry about me not focusing on doing my job here because I do that when I'm here. After 5 p.m. when I go home, you have nothing to do with that. You don't need to worry what I'm doing with my free time. But I, I'm not going to let go of my second job. Ryan, wake up! <laughs> School is not a place to sleep! Well, then home is not a place to study. Jonathan, stop eating in my class! Dude, didn't you have breakfast this morning? No, but I didn't have time for my second breakfast. Jonathan! First eating, then talking. Now talking while you're eating. Since you've got so much to say, name ten elements on the periodic table. Second breakfast. Can I just say that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone, my friend. Fine. I'll come write it on the board if you don't believe me. Second breakfast. He is officially the smartest kid in the world. His mind is greater than all of ours combined. His brain power transcends time and space. Should we tell him? Absolutely not. It's not impossible. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Find everything you need today? Yeah. Great, okay. Yeah. Oh, God. No. 
know. Everything okay, ma'am? Uh, it's just that you've only scanned a few items and it's already 60 bucks. Uh, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm a trained professional, ma'am. I've scanned a lot of groceries. I need you to stay with me. It's just that my in-laws are in town and they want a charcuterie board. Well, this isn't gonna be easy, so I need you to be brave, all right? What's your name? Patricia. Patricia, all right. I need you to take a deep breath. We're about to do the cheese. <gasps> Oh my God, the numbers are going up so fast. Why do we have to be a Balderson's house? Don't look up there, it only makes it worse. Keep your eyes on me, okay? <sighs> Can't you just scan something less expensive? I can, but let's not forget, it's the little things that add up, all right? Now brace yourself, I'm about to do the mixed nuts. Oh my God, I'm gonna pass out. Okay, bite down on this, Patricia. <sighs> Get ready, I'm gonna do the cured meats. <sighs> It's too late. There's a line behind you, okay? You're locked in. I'm not strong enough. I know it looks like a lot right now, but I promise you, you're going to get home and you're going to wonder, what did I even buy? <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 where are my fries? Oh, you didn't ask for fries, so I didn't get you any. Babe, there's no fries in here. You only asked for the burger. That's why I got <laughs> That's you the burger. Where are my fries, babe? You I need my fries! I eat my fries before everything! I need my fries! Say I need them! Why is there a fries? Give me a fries! You can have some of mine! I don't want their fries! I want my own fries! All right, okay! I'll get you your goddamn fries and shut up! God damn! Why would you ever, ever yell at me? You know I'm on my period. You just, you just yelled at me! Don't do that. Don't do that. You just tore up the food up. Give me this. I'm going to just go back and get you your goddamn fries. God damn.